Hey guys, I want to show you how I install my bias tape, which I make myself. I'm a fan of the pinking shears. I will do another video on how I make my bias tape, although you can find plenty of videos on YouTube. But so here's what I'm working with. <clears throat> and I do not iron fold it I do you know I just leave it as is so there's no folding involved I know there are tools for running your bias tape through and ironing it I do not use those either I'm sure they're fabulous I'm too lazy to do that so I'm going to show you how I install my my bias tape on a garment I just tape that in place and I just go around the armhole and I stitch lower my presser foot I set my machine at a quarter inch. I can remove my pin here. I back stitch. So I've made my complete wrap around. I'll cut off this excess for folding it in and I will show you the next step. Okay, I still have the garment right side out, right? So I've got right side to right side. My fabric and my binding right side to right side. So I look at the inside of the armhole and I just, now you can press this, you can under, um, under stitch or over stitch this little but I find that when I fold it in and stitch it down that the binding does not peek out so I have not had an issue with it but if you form, feel more comfortable you can press this out and then top stitch along this edge here sometimes I do it sometimes I don't I have found that it hasn't been an issue but if you think it might be go ahead and top stitch before you roll this under so you can see here I'm just taking I, I go from the underarm to the top of the shoulder and then work my way around I push up the raw edges I fold the bias over over again so that all of my raw edges are encased I will pin this around and then I'm going to press it just so that I have a nice clean line for stitching and make sure that everything is tucked in properly. So you can see that I pinned everything. I pressed it in place. Okay, so you can see it's nicely pressed. You can take your pins out now if you want. I will turn the garment inside out and I like to see where I'm stitching. I know some people will do their stitching from the right side. I like to do it from the wrong side just to make sure that I'm catching the bias tape. But either way works. I will back stitch. Just to reiterate, so I, you know, I press this out. I can remove some of my pins. <clears throat> you can either remove them all as you go or take them all out because I've pressed this down and so it should stay in place. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to stitch around and again you can stitch from the right or wrong side. I prefer to do it from the wrong side just to make sure that I'm capturing my binding and because I'm still fairly new at sewing and so I just want to make sure I don't have any mistakes on this edge. And I go as close to the edge as possible. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so I'm coming back around to the beginning. I want to make sure I don't get any wrinkles under there. <clears throat> I'm using a, a dark contrasting thread because I wanted to. I like the dark thread against the pale blue. But so that is my bias tape and I didn't have to use any kind of tool or I didn't press the um, you know I didn't press the bias tape you know I didn't press my bias tape 
typically, right, you're going to press your bias tape or you have the tool that does that. I did none of that. I just install it as is. That is how I do my bias tape. I just, I install it as normal without all the folds in it. That is my little cheat sheet for bias tape installation. I hope it helps you guys. Thanks. Bye.